Kieran Donaghy, film in action. Uh, scanning through it, I, I've been most impressed that you have such a, a fantastic, creative, and rich approach to teaching with and about moving images. So, why did you write this book? I'd been I'd been using film in in my classes for for many years, twenty five, twenty six years now. I'd written my own activities uh, and I'd set up my own uh, website uh, with lesson plans designed around short films, and that became very successful. And, and I'd given lots of talks at conferences throughout the world. And what I wanted to do was have a methodology book which condensed all those ideas. So I decided to write a book uh, which was about using film critically and creatively in the language classroom. And and what strikes me too is that it comes from a place of you, well, they're, they're kind of road tested, aren't they, in many ways. You get lots of feedback on the side about people saying, these are some great ways to use film and, and you've demonstrated that you do use them yourself. Can, can you speak about that practical background? Yeah, all the activities are tried and tested. I've used them in my classes and I've put them onto the website, which gets a lot of traffic, about 10,000 hits a day. So a lot of teachers are using them with their students throughout the world. And as you said, they give me a lot of feedback on the activities. So I know that they work well. Um, sometimes in methodology books, the activities have never really been used in the classroom. Uh, but this is not the case with Film in Action. All of, all of the activities have been tried and tested by many, many, many teachers. So I think that's one of the reasons why it's been successful so far. Give us a quick overview of the book then. Tell us who it's aimed at and, and why people should get hold of it. Well, the, the book is in the uh, Delta Teacher Training uh, Series. The, it's divided into three parts. The part A gives a theoretical overview of, use, of the reasons for using video and film in, in education in general and, and language teaching in particular. Part B is about 100 activities which can be used with little or no preparation by the teacher in the classroom. And part C are longer term projects to incorporate film uh, into, the, into the school syllabus. And what I love in the in the practical stuff, you know, you've you've got examples on your on your blog of of students that have made their own films. So you know how not to make a film with a bit of humour, how to make miso soup. So you know different examples of students that have done so, and you can see their their own use of English in in those little examples. Yes, the, the examples uh, on the site there are actually uh, when the book was released, I had a. Uh, a competition where students had to create their own films in that case how to creating how to movies and the teachers who entered their students work told me that very often they'd been using these over a number of years these types of projects and what they found is that the students who are, who were normally quite reluctant to speak and quite and sometimes quite shy actually in the filmmaking projects which were much more extroverts and put a lot of work into it and developed their language skills a lot and had a, and had a great time and then they've got a, a tangible product at the end of it something they feel very proud of having created something together fantastic so as as far as the book, do you have a, a particular page or a chapter? What's your favourite moment in the book? Um, I do have a fav- well, favourite quote from the book. It's from part A and it's from George Lucas. And this is what he says. We must teach communication comprehensively in all its forms. We live and work in a visually sophisticated world. So we must be sophisticated in using all the forms of communication, not just the written word. And this is very much the message of the book. Mm -hmm. You've had your website up, so you've got lots of feedback about that. The book itself, what are people saying about the book? Yeah, it's had, it's had very good reviews so far. It's been reviewed by about 20 journals uh, or newsletters, and all of the reviews have been very, very positive. It's also it's been reviewed quite a lot on, on Amazon. It's got about 25 five-star reviews. Um, so the reviews so far have been very positive. So they talked about the innovative nature of it. Yeah, so it's the, 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 the reviews so far have been very positive, which is which is pleasing. Get your copy of Film in Action from Amazon or for more information, visit Kieran's website at kirandonaghy.com. Listener.